hello guys you're welcome to photographics academy all right so today i want to show you exactly how i was able to achieve this image i was able to turn this boring studio image to something amazing as this isn't that beautiful all right so the video is basically a walkthrough i'm going to be showing you step by step guide on how i did it on how i did it follow it the exact same way i did it using the same values and you will achieve the same result so the beautiful part of this video is that we are giving out the background to you for free to try and test out in your own image to see how it works for you so without wasting your time let's quickly get started so the first thing i did was i imported my image into photoshop i believe if you're watching this video you should have known how to do that by now then i took out time and had to clean up my backdrop yeah i removed one or two things that I didn't need on the background. And remember, we are trying to use a gray background. That's the secret of the whole thing. But trying to use a gray background. So I had to do some work on it using solid color. If you open it, you're going to see the hex code over here. The hex code I used to convert this uh, more of a, a reddish tone gray into something more, more, more grayish towards the 50% gray. So one beautiful thing I did was I changed the blend mode from normal to color. If you leave it at normal, it's going to just be like a white floor. So the moment we change it to color, it blended with the original background that had that the image has and it turned it towards gray, which was exactly what I wanted. So the next thing I did was that I imported my background that I'm going to use. Yeah, just drag and drop, scaled in and all of that and it was able to fit in so we've gotten our background we've gotten our gray so look at what's going to happen if i didn't use this one beneath the above the original background and beneath the imported background so we are going to have a lot of uh, reddish tint on the background which is not what we wanted so that was why we included this one to make sure that the background we are importing retains its original color so after doing that we needed to create some separation and we use our curves to create some separation so you're going to notice that the image is, is basically blending into the background but it has nothing special about it but the moment we imported our curves it brought it it brought that dimension of lightning that looks like the upper part is lighted more than the uh, lower part which was exactly what we wanted now we started doing our color separation so the first thing we did with our gradient view was that we introduced a, gre a greenish color on the background we introduced a greenish light on the background so that it will serve as a background light or more like a motivated lighting okay so whatever what the reason we did that was so that we'll have that separation because we noticed it was quite that so we are losing her dress her leg into the into the background so we needed to create that separation so see the way that green light popped out the back the image from the background of course any color might do this but we are working some color with some colors here so we can achieve a very beautiful look and still remember that we use the vivid light on it to make it look realistic that way i see there is a light source over here that is flooding this whole area with light so the next thing we did was that we introduced a gradient feel that is orange and change the blend, the blend mode to linear light towards this part of this of the image so that it creates that color as if there is a light flowing in from that side then we did the same thing the other way just to create that lightning that will that that beautiful color you were seeing at the beginning of the video of the aftermath so this was how we created those two amazing colors on the background see the way we just used color to turn this flat background into something quite dramatic we are not done yet so we introduce one more color we introduce another color over her yeah so we noticed that uh this particular area was not entirely blending in the green light can't be there and we are not seeing the effect of it over the image so we had to introduce another green light in between them so that we'll have a very beautiful separation of blue green and orange light all in the same image i don't know but that looks so beautiful to me so we created one more we created one more to give that green light a light source because of the face area so we needed the green light to have a light source that is flowing downwards that was why we created that I think I, we can actually do without that, but that was why we created that basically. So this is our image. Remember that everything we are doing is directly below the image layer, directly below the image layer. The moment they are above, it will start looking very, very bad. So we had it all above the image layer. Then we introduce one more curves for the floor. We introduce one more curves for the floor just to darken things down a little. Yeah, we noticed the floor was quite too exposed. 
we noticed that the floor was quite too exposed so we introduced something uh, just to darken stuffs down then we introduced one more curves layer to darken the whole overall background down just a little yeah look at it before after before after so we are we are using intentionality to create light dimensions to create depth using lightning in the image that was why we keep on bringing in the curves and, and the curves just to create that dimension and separation using lightning then we got our color balance just to blend things in slightly we added a little bit of color balancing let me zoom our image in so you will see exactly what i'm talking about so added a little bit of color balancing look at the skin look at the skin just a little bit to bring to tint it towards the original to tint it towards the lighting in the background sorry so we created one more groups yeah okay so i think this is the next phase of the whole stock this was where the color and the lightning stopped for now before we started creating stuff so i was wondering how could we have these amazing colors and there won't be uh, a real a real uh, light source that is producing the lights and all of that it would look quite unrealistic so we had to introduce a lightning yeah over here so this lightning was we designed it in such a way that it looks exactly like it is producing those colors that is in that particular area and if you notice one thing this one now is above the image because we needed the light to spill on her a little yeah look at that we needed the light to spill on her a little so this could give us the separation we needed between her and the background and it could be the source of this color over here then we needed another one over here to equally mimic the color that we'll have on this part of the background to equally spill on her so we introduce one more group yeah look at the way both of them just lighting up the whole image look at that beautiful so they it created another light source that is responsible for what we have here so this was the main reason we had the, the green light flowing downwards because if we have a light source here have a light source here another light source should be above her head here that's producing the color that is hitting that one so that was why we had this green here this one that we had here okay so the next thing we did was that we should do just quite a little hazy feel towards the floor to blend things in just to blend things in and bring her out a little bit more then we introduce a color lookup to bring everything together we introduce a color lookup to bring everything together and a little curves to darken just her skin tone down a little curves to darken just her skin tone down and we added one more curves to brighten one or two areas let me zoom it in so you could see the effect of these curves on the e-wing so look at this one look at this one you may not entirely see it because it's in video format but from where i am i'm seeing the effect perfectly so we created a blend a a blend layer of everything we did beneath so we can actually delete all of this a stamp visible layer rather we can actually delete all of this and still have our image right here so this is the overall work of everything we did from here downwards so now we got into our retouching we needed to do a little retouching on our skin yeah just to even things out so we created a frequency separation layer for her and we did a little frequency separation layer for the image so this is before and this is after the frequency separation yeah look at that amazing let me zoom out so you could see the effect of frequency separation on the image we just made it a little bit smoother neater cleaner and all of that then we did a little bit of dodging and burning just a little bit of dodging and burning for the image so this is before this is after just slightly and we'll have what we needed then we did a little color fill just for the skin tone to bring it towards now we started color grading the skin to bring it towards the overall color of the image so after creating the color i just went here we did a little bit of fill and saturation just to darken the tones down and a little bit of gradient map to create a global color grading for the general image so this is the effect of it yeah let me zoom out so you could see so this is the solid color this is the hue and saturation and this is the gradient map so it gave us that hazy feel that we needed to blend stuffs in so we created one more stamp visible layer and we created our vignette effect over that one using our camera roll using our camera roll then we created one more curves are just color fill layer just to make the leg darken down a little remember initially we needed it to look like it was lighted just from up down so we needed down here to be dark a little so we created one more uh color few layer just to darken stuff over there created one more stand visible layer then we cleaned up the eyes and we 
cleaned up the hair just over there we notice that we are losing a part of the hair to the background look at that see so we are losing a part of the hair so we have to use our clone stamp to fill that particular area up and that was how we were able to convert this boring image into something dramatic like this isn't that beautiful something boring like this into something dramatic like this so every asset used in this video the props you are looking at the background you are looking at we are giving it out to you for free create whatever you want to create with it send it to our uh to the link in the description below to see, let us see what you are able to create using the props that you get from this particular video and in case you want to you want to submit your image that will record with it and show you how you can improve on your shot just by editing it live on on youtube and showing you the walkthrough on how we did whatever we did to it and we will be so so glad to have your image just drop it using the link in the description below and trust me trust me it's going to elevate your job to the next level as our way of giving back to our audience we are giving you a shout out on our channel live so make sure you submit the best of the shots you have because we are going to be dropping your instagram handle even in the video to make sure you get the visibility you want this image was submitted by Skynet Photography, an amazing photographer in our nature, a very wonderful photographer. Go to his Instagram page, go to his Facebook handles. It's all spelled Skynet, Skynet. You will see it spelled in the description as well. This is what we are giving to you as well. So take this opportunity while it lasts and we'll be glad to have you in our space. Thank you for watching this amazing video. Do make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel. Click on the notification bell to get notified every single time we drop a new video. See you on the next one. Thank you.